okay, we want to do this pyramid from fifth axis. So I've already downloaded the file, and I want to read this into a spree. So when we open the file, we'll see that the fixture comes in with the base plates already on it. Uh, what I'm going to do, because I want to keep this purely modular, is do the base plate separately. So, um, basically, you know, you can, you can take the actual CAD models and stack them up the way that they would mount in the machine as a user if you wanted to avoid, you know, putting uh, things, you know, one by one, assembling them in the Esprit interface. So if you're using like the same type of assembly all the time, you can just kind of build it all as, as one and save it out and then just mount your workpiece later. But I want to do it where it's going to be all individual components so that you can have the flexibility to build whatever you want. So what I'm going to do here first is this is all in a weird um, position and it's not aligned with the z-axis. So I'm going to pick the bottom face of this fixture and I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and then the align Z command on the uh, on the home toolbar and what happens is the the product is going to be moved in space to be normal to the Z axis now what I want to do is on the center bore uh, I want to go ahead and just pick one of these inside faces to highlight that and then I'm gonna hit align Z so what happens is it's going to then center the z-axis about that hole at the center of this fixture and you can see the z-axis is going you know right through the center there okay so uh, looking at their website um, we have bright red is their color so I want to keep consistent with that so what I'm gonna do here is just kinda grab this solid down here highlight that go to properties and this is like a kind of a strange red here I'm gonna pick this bright red <clears throat> and that looks a little bit more appropriate the other thing that we can do to get rid of these three uh, base plates uh, you could leave them here or you know get rid of them it's up to you I'll kind of explain what we're doing both ways uh, what we can do is highlight this base model and then on our keyboard you could hit Control W and you'll see that once I do that the base pyramid is no longer grouped and it swaps the group for everything else on the screen and now I could just right click and say delete so we, ha <clears throat> we have uh, the bolt pattern here and what we want to do is locate the mounting positions so that they make sense so the first thing that I'm going to do here is set up my pyramid so that it makes sense in terms of the angle. So if I look at it, the x-axis is pointed this way, and it doesn't match up with any of these three positions. But this one looks like it would be, if I rotated this 90 degrees, just an easy visual for me. I'm going to hit Control-A on my keyboard or right-click and say Select All, and then right-click Copy, and then I'm going to say rotate move 90 degrees and I'm just going to use the origin so now if I look at this from a top view the x-axis is aligned with this uh, and I'm, I'm gonna call this the zero degree position for one of these mounting positions just so that when I bring it in I'll know which one is which just by looking at it so uh, what we want to do now is go ahead and make some uh, new uh, positions for the actual base plates that we just deleted. So uh, an easy way to do this is uh, I like putting everything at the center. Uh, when you put it at the center then you don't have to move things around as much. I could just rotate it around the z-axis to uh, position my workpiece the way that I want. So uh, what I'm gonna do here first is just come over to geometry and say segment 2 and I'm going to kind of position this at a little bit of an angle here and zoom in and I'm going to come down here and pick 
two of these centers and you'll see the highlight and it'll put a segment two diagonally and the center of this segment is going to be the center of this four hole uh, mounting pattern that these use so now what I'm going to do is come over here to uh, let me show you this under home you're going to pick work plane from geometry but what I did is I right clicked on here and I added this icon to the quick access toolbar so it's right here so you can you can if you're in a different menu like geometry I don't need to go to home I could just come right up here and pick work plane from geometry and then pick this top face and you can see that it looks like it puts it right at that Oh, looks like it's slightly off so that's interesting there so what I'm gonna do now is uh, utilize the center of that uh, segment that we made and I'm gonna use the translate so again under home you can go to home and then pick translate I put that up here so I'll, I'll use this one this time I'll come up to translate and zoom in to the center point and it shifts that slightly and now what I want to do is actually rotate this so that my x-axis is aligned sideways uh, where the y is now so to do that we'll come here and we'll say rotate UVW so I'm rotating about the local UVW and I'm gonna rotate about the Z so right now it's saying what is the rotation angle about U I'm gonna say 0 0 about V and then I'm gonna do 90 degrees about Z and your work plane should now be positioned so that the Z is uh, you know horizontal uh, and the Y is going up toward the center of the table. So if this is not yet correct for you, then rotate it again. Uh, you know, or if you mistype something, you could always hit undo and then redo uh, the, the rotation command with the proper angles. So if you had a, a if you left your uh, base plates on here, your 96 millimeter base plate, you could just basically duplicate this what I just did on the top four mounting holes of that base plate and uh, you should get the same result except this would obviously be located at the top of that base plate so now I'm gonna save this out as a mounting position so I'm gonna come here and say I'm gonna mount a fixture adapter and we'll call it underscore zero for zero degrees I'll say enter and then I'll do another one just in case somebody's lazy and they don't want to load a base plate but they just want to put their workpiece there um, I can just put a WA for workpiece adapter underscore zero degrees and then hit enter now I know that this is three positions 360 degrees 120 degrees apart so what I'm gonna do is just come here and say rotate my work plane and I'm gonna pick this z-axis line right here and I'm gonna type in 120 degrees with my keyboard and you'll see that my work plane moves to this next position now if I did this one right and I'm assuming fifth axis you know they're obviously machining these correctly so that they're gonna be exactly 120 degrees I could just save this out so I'm just gonna do a FA for fixture adapter underscore 120 and then I'm gonna do the same thing for redundancy workpiece adapter 120 now I'm going to repeat this and it's basically remembering to rotate about the line then about the Z hit enter and then 120 hit enter so if you just hit enter three times after you hit this icon it's going to go ahead and place that at that last position so we're just going to do FA underscore 240 oh. and then I'm going to do uh, workpiece adapter WA underscore 240 and now I'm just gonna click away to make sure nothing is grouped or highlighted and then I'm just gonna go to file save as I'm gonna do a fixture file for GDML here and I'm gonna come to my pyramid folder and I already did the 20 and I'm gonna say save and now if I go back to my folder let me make this a little bit bigger here I'm gonna pick this and we can see the preview 
shows each of these that I made. You know, one is going to be thicker than the other. So uh, we're ready to see how this loads into Esprit. So I'm going to load a machine. We're going to come to machine setup. Uh, yeah, let's find a, a five axis mill. Uh, here we go. This looks like a five axis mill. So the machine comes in. I'm going to just kind of come here to masks and you can slide this bar up to turn different components on or off. I'm just going to slide it up one notch so that I don't see the machine uh, sheet metal. So uh, on the machine here, once it loads up, I could just come here to fixture and we'll go to our fifth axis rock lock. 96 millimeter pyramid and we'll load one of these guys. Well, let's load the one that I just did just to maintain consistency. And we want to pick the table. So we have a uh, location because we place the the XYZ center. You can see where that is. It's going to be uh, at the bottom center of the fixture, which mates with the top center of the table. And once that's done, we say OK. And then we can come, because this is now highlighted, we can come to another fixture. And here we'll come to a base. And I made some of these earlier. So we can grab one of these bases that, uh, you know, uh, they're all, you know, they're all different anyway. I'm going to load one of these up. And you can see that that is now going to appear at the position FA0, okay? So now, uh, if I had a workpiece already on here, um, I could then just right-click this guy and say copy, and then go back to the base pyramid, right-click, and say paste, and we could put it on 120 and 240. Say apply, and you can see that they appear at each location.